Look at him just saw spawn up there like a... Dude, that is crazy. They just move like a pack of... I don't even know how to say it. They, they, the only person I've seen with powers this similar is Goku. Is he... Oh, they're eating the reef pack. Save the reef pack. Teleport him elsewhere. What is going on guys? Ryan here back with more Subnautica because like immediately back with more Subnautica because I did not realize like I literally re holy shit he's throwing poop at me. I literally realized like 10 minutes after recording that last Subnautica video that there was also the Warper, the Spy Neal, and of course this I didn't realize till the comment section that the Lost River biome is now available which I'm in. Currently it's not completely developed. Nothing in this mod or nothing in this video I wouldn't say is complete because I can swim through the floor a lot and... Well, not that floor, but some floor for sure. I built into the floor, but I can't, like, I can't remove it with the terraformer. It's not complete yet. But as far as, as far first, I'm just going to go look at this thing, because I just swam past it. it. It is just insane. This just changes everything as far as Subnautica goes. Like, look at the freaking size of this, of this skull. This is like, I can't imagine the beast that would dwell deep in Subnautica. This right here just opens the limits like crazy, because it's like, we see... I, I don't know, man. Like, there could be anything. This game could go down far on forever. It's just, I hope, like, because there's going to be the Sea Dragon Leviathan soon. The Reaper, the, 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 just the regular Leviathan will be back soon, I hope. But what about this beast? Like, is there, I hope to God, one day there's a creature this size in the game. Because this would just be, like, something that just devours your entire base. That'd be hilarious. Not hilarious. It'd be terrifying. But holy hell. I would just, like, all hopes immediately out the window the second... You see this thing swimming towards your face, that'd be the end right there. For God's sakes, it's, it's rib cage is its own biome, that's nuts. Perhaps you could even live in its stomach? Alright, so where'd that warper go? I just spawned a warper in to see what kind of magic he's up to. Follow the poop clouds. Oh, what a lovely guy to have around, he just, he's able to shit in all quadrants of the, of the biome. Where, where'd he go? Dude, he gets around, now he's over here. So that's how he teleports, he just goes sneak cloud to sneak cloud. A very terrifying looking beast. I did not realize he would look like an alien vagina. I thought he'd be more of a... I don't know, I just didn't picture the mouth. The mouth being that terrifying. He's like a rare Pokemon though, he's hard to get a hold on. Anytime you get close, he just freaking warps. Like, what is that? Was he just cut through the string theory? He's got like multiple dimensions on tap. How the hell does he teleport? That's a big jump right there for a... For an animal to just go from biting you to straight up, like this was Nightcrawler. This is Nightcrawler's pet right here. So this is them. Keep your distance. Damn, they they, they do. He warped me. Oh, that's crazy. When they hit you, do they knock you into a completely separate area? I feel like I could use these for survival eventually. Where are you all swimming? They're just wrong. Damn, that's scary. And now they're all just in separate areas. That these guys are gonna be impossible to find. Or not impossible to find, impossible to get into contact with. As I get into contact with him, I say that. Yeah, he does. He just shoots those little poop balls at you. Dude, he just teleported by... Wait, hang on. What? Where did... What? What What did they do? Oh, yeah, I just teleported for sure. They hit you with their little poop. Look, they're teleporting my sea moth around. That's so funny. Oh, my God. That'd be so inconvenient if you're, like, actually dealing with that and you're getting hit. Look, damn. That's hilarious. They even made my dog bark. They just, what? This is just fun. I'm entertained by this. They're like an extremely crazy species to just examine. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, they are not leaving my Seamoth alone. Thank God this is just a quick video update because now I can like really examine the things I'd have to watch out for. If you're suffocating, swimming to your Seamoth and they warp it away, you're, just, you're screwed. Torpedoes All right, well. Damn, it's like fighting. This would be the craziest thing to ever come across. I literally can't even get a shot off at him because they just keep. There we go. And I missed. Beautiful. Haha, <laughs> he shot like a bullet. Look at him flying away. They're like mermaids. Dude, these guys are too powerful. I feel like we just made the bridge from like alien fish to Pokemon. Like now we're actually dealing with Pokemon. For them to for them to be able to possess, like we're fighting a cadaver right now. Like, I'm not entirely sure other creatures they have in mind. Like, they are, they straight up just made four creatures that are crazier than most of the things already in the game. The devs have done an outstanding job. I love them. But, what was that blue one? Like a Kamehameha he threw at me? You got Goku up in here? These guys are beautiful, man. I wish I could have more things. Ew, look at the inside. Damn it, it's so hard to get a look off at him. We need to kill one of them. We're gonna ram it. Where'd you send me? 
We're gonna ram into one of them at full speed and hopefully kill one of them so I get a proper examination. Did I get him? Yeah, dude, we got- Damn it! Okay, come on. Shoot the Seamoth, not me. I want an examination and- That is so weird! My Seamoth just teleported right in front of me. Come on, man! Don't tell me they sent his dead body elsewhere, too. They're just targeting us. I want to see this. That's disgusting, dude. This is straight up like the alien from, well, the movie Alien. Aha, oh, they're teleporting us together. Dude, this, this is by far the scariest thing I've come, and they've killed me. The scariest thing I've come across in, um, in, in Subnautica. That thing is just freaky. See, so now we're going to go examine them with cameras. I got the whole system figured out. That means they just put my, my, that's not where we are. Yes, oh, another thing that's crazy. You see how I have 2,700 power? That is these things. When nuclear reactors are in the game, that is like, look at that, 40 power per minute, 150 per minute. And I have three of them out there. That's, that's, that's crazy. All right, let's go get a look at these guys. I wonder if they teleport cameras. God, cameras are just the answer to everything in life. We just have full-on view. I could count their lower intestines veins. I'm starting to see, see people. All right, stop, stop warping. Let me get a look at you. Dude, that is so freaky. What a crazy addition. Look like it's heart or organs back there. Freaky fish, man. Between this and the giant face, this is a little, a little much to take in right now. I'm happy they don't attack these cameras because I love these things. All right, let's redock this. Now, Subnautica is becoming the perfect game. God, I love that noise. These sea treaders are still my favorite, I think. Oh, what happened to you, buddy? I mean, I know the warpers are very cool, but these are just such giant epic beasts. And the noises they emit. I feel sorry for that guy. He got boned over. So they shoot the warpers. But they warp. Don't, don't shoot me. I'm doing science. Hide behind the warper or hide behind the sea treader. Don't shoot me. Come on, I want to see him shoot one of the sea treaders. Watch them teleport. They just have like a mu mutual. Look at the size of that head. Oh, 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 oh my god, I got kicked right in the nuts by a sea treader. That sucks. That's so cool. These guys all have like a programmed pathway they use. They just naturally, that's like their migration path. The warpers don't seem to beef with them either. It's like they're. Those noises. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get tired of that. I can't wait to get back into the survival series. Come on, warper. I know you want to shoot it. I know you want to shoot the sea treader. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, it's not gonna happen. These noises are just... No, no, look, that right there was a close one. They're gonna shoot me or they're just gonna teleport out of here. Oh, damn, you just got kicked in the face by a sea treader. How do you feel right now? It looks like they generally don't mess with the big guys. I wonder if they're even powerful enough to teleport. Damn. They're real slanky with those kicks. Yeah, they're friends, if anything. I think they register these as, like, plantation. You're vegetation. You move too slow. Set that. Jesus! I just dodged my titties. That's straight up. Oh, he did! He got teleported! It could happen! Oh, that's awesome. That's cool to see right there. It's very inconvenient for the sea shredder, but... There they go, disappearing into the wall. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god, these guys are not gonna be able to examine. They're gonna eat me, they're gonna eat me, they're gonna eat me. Holy crap, look at these horrible beasts. They only have one eyeball. What's that about? How do they all only have one eyeball? What a poor evolution pattern. So now here we are in the examination pit. Ooh, look at this. This is the best specimen examining room ever. It looks like they're actually fighting each other. What's going on there? They have no allegiance. Oh, look, damn, look, they're, no, they're actually the warpers and the spinels are duking it out. Oh, he's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. He just got teleported, too. I don't even feel bad for him. These things are pretty damn scary. This would probably be the creature I'd least want to run into in Subnautica. Even more than a Reaper Leviathan, because these guys are... They'll get you. Oh, that one's... That one's dead. Ha <laughs> ha Sucks. Sucks to suck, bro. Looks like those guys made amends. No. Those are some dead warpers up there. That's a dead warper, and that's a dead spineal. He's glitching. He's still moving around, but... That's how that goes down. I can't even peek my face out here. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's like watching a battle of titans. Like, they all have their own powers and everything. Look, he's just... As they go for him, they just get teleported away, and they take... This is like watching a Harry Potter fight right now. Like, it's just... They're all shooting spells at each other and shit. Someone biting at my toes. 
Sounds like someone's biting at my toes. No, oh my god, he was biting right at me. <laughs> I just narrowly escaped him. It looks like, uh, this is actually kind of sad, because there's just multiple body types of all creatures floating upward. I feel like they all kind of got the shaft right there. There he goes to go join his buddies in battle. I feel so sad. Oh no, that one warper's screwed. He's got too many of them on him. Oh my god, there's two of them though. It's a two versus three. Just warped right out of there. <laughs> this is gruesome. They're losing. I think we all wanted the the warpers to win without even saying it, because this this is just disgusting right here. Like this is this is the ugliest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> this is this this is exactly what I'd expect to find in this biome. Look at those teeth. He just, he's lifeless. I got warped. I got warped. See, Reapers still run the house. Okay, yeah, I saw that coming. Reapers still run it, though, when it gets down to it. Ooh, it's going down. It's going down. Get me inside. Get me inside. Where's my ladder? Gotta go up in a... Damn it, wrong turn. I'm in the wrong building altogether. Easy, easy. There we go. Now we got full examination. We got a bunch of spinels, a bunch of warpers, and the Reapers, just the old school giants. You know, they, they kind of run this joint, so you gotta, gotta get them in here. It's so quiet in here. All you see is death, but you can't really hear. I want to see them teleport a reaper. Damn. It'd be scary if they were capable of breaking glass. I kind of wish every fish had their own magical superpower to shoot at each other now. This would turn into a whole different game. Did he just eat that entire spine eel? What? It just like deleted in front of his face. It's going down out here. These guys love the reaper leviathans are just the cleanup crew. Holy shit. Cleanup crew for sure. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is too cool. <gasps> Dude, he is. As he eats them, they just delete. The Reaper Leviathan can actually eat fish now. He's never done that before. He's always just gone up to them and they would just end lifeless. I feel sorry for the Warpers. They really don't stand a chance in here. Oh, he's just narrowly a stab. The Reaper Leviathans are just eating everything. Oh my god. Now I can actually, after all my time on Subnautica, can actually do some giant battles. Like, they can actually... Emergency. See, that one just came through the floor. That doesn't even make any sense. Has occurred in the Aurora's drive These Reaper Leviathans scare the, the hell out of me every time they get close. We'll take a look how it's going out here. I wonder if we could see the freaking Aurora eruption from all the way down here. It'd be all over the map, I assume. There's actually no more fish. They're eating them all. That's insane. That's just crazy. Oh, look, we barely, we just get, oh, no, no, it's everywhere. That's like a crazy update in its own sense right there, is that now they can full-on devour things and they're just gone. Just, just gone from existence, just eaten completely. So yeah, that's that's today's video. Look how much look how much power we maintain. And we have a lot of energy down there. We have a lot of lights going. But that's that's today, you guys. We have warpers now, which shoot magical Damn thing thing guys got eaten right in front of us. Straight up Reaper Leviathans can devour creatures now. Also, it turns out that reef back in my last video of the of the um Crab squid and sea treaders. It's like on the tip of my tongue. That reef back was not there's like now a special kind of reef back That's like five times bigger. So that was just an incredible find right there Just that's why he wasn't able to fit the biome too. I presume See there's just so many cool things. I just I want to see a fish with a head even half that size That would just blow my mind dude. I saw this coming Now I'm just curious if they're capable. Oh, they are they're capable of forming reef backs why is there smoke a different color now too? That's kind of weird. Dude, these guys are powerful. Like they're they're demigods in their own sense. Like I would worship these if I was a tribesman on this. Look at them just saw a spot up there like a Dude, that is crazy. They just move like a pack of I don't even know how to say it. They they the only person I've seen with powers this similar is Goku. Is he oh, they're eating the reef back. Save the reef back. Teleport him elsewhere. My god, this is like going down right now. Like, Subnautica fighting has never been this awesome before, because before it was just, like, stalkers, um, stalkers, bone sharks, the standard stuff. Oh, they're also bringing, they also brought back lava lizards now, too, which is crazy, because I remember doing Subnautica, like, giant spawning fish tanks and everything, like, a year ago with lava lizards and lava larva. I used to trip out that the lava larva would crawl through the walls, because I swear they'd poke holes in my fish tanks. Dude, this is just too crazy. 
So yeah, now those guys are back. There we go. We'll just get a bunch of... Oh yeah, they are there. What the hell? They don't have lava on their back anymore? Now they're just green lizards? That's that's crazy. They used to be lava fish. I wonder if... The, oh, even they're getting warped. See, now I want to do a Subnautica Epic Battles video. At least a few of them. Because now they all have, like... It's now like, um... Like Street Fighter or something. Like Mortal Kombat. There's different guys with different powers. It's not just standard shark fish anymore. And he is now... That, that's, that's, that's... A lot of reef backs end up this way, I'm learning. I can't wait to watch these fights go down, because now it looks like Lava Lizards are also back, like they're beasts, they're too quick and have too much health. Well, plus I spawned in way too many of them in one small area. They get a hold of anything and they're gonna eat it. Yep, I'm their next target now, now they're gonna eat me. But now I just wanna get armies of each of these guys in one giant controlled aquarium, just emptied out with a terraformer and let it, let them have loose at each other. Sounds like a plan for sure. Definitely gonna do it. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. Just verify with me if you, that sounds like a good idea because a lot of people just want me to get back to the survival series, but I think it's okay to have a little fun with it because these things are nuts. So yeah, if you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!